Hey guys, welcome back to Mediocre Commentary, since today we're going to be doing a Ring 3 Tower, which is Tower of Despair. Now, this tower, which has an interesting history behind it, is, um, it used to be called Tower of Infuriating Obstacles, but then it got, Infuriating Obstacles got removed from Ring 3, and it got put in Zone 3. It's now in Zone 3, so if you want to go play the original Tower of Despair, you can go play it in Zone 3. But now it's Tower of Despair, which is a completely different tower. But, uh, a quick note on my upload schedule... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be uploading daily uh, anymore, just because I would run out of quick. I would run out of towers really quickly since there's only 127 towers in the game, and I just kind of want to keep making content for a long time on this YouTube channel. So uh, anyway, the new upload schedule is uh, one video every two days now. I, kn yeah, one video every two days. I know it's such a dr dramatic change, but anyway, uh, let's get into the tower. So start. Also, this tower is basically GG's after floor seven because floor seven is a catch zone. So yeah. Anyway, starting off, you got the funny music. <laughs> if you played Row Beats, you know the song. But anyway, for this jump, just kind of keep swinging the platform by going left and right like this. And just kind of keep swinging it for a bit. And then when you feel good about the jump, kind of do that, and you'll barely make it like that. And you can always swing it more if, you, if you're not comfortable with the jump. But anyway, moving on to the simple stuff. And there is a tightrope here, so I'd recommend you ghost it so you can actually see the tightrope better. So just kind of walk across it. And sorry if it's really bright that you can't see. It's just That's just kind of a game issue since it's just really bright but anyway you can skip most of floor two by just instead of going this way just jump behind this truss like this then you can go on the back side of it and then you can just jump over to this thing or uh, that platform but i recommend going over to this platform but yeah doing that skips a majority of uh floor two let me turn let me turn invisible players on there we go anyway moving on just got some simple jumps also this is uh this is one of the hardest challenging towers in my opinion just because it got, it has some jumps. It has some interesting jumps. Anyway, now I just got another tightrope. Also, get good at head hitters before you do this tower. Uh, that jumps a bit far, so just kind of, I would recommend view, viewing it as a 12 stud. Oh. I don't know what that was. I just walked off the platform. I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, hopefully this time, literally not walking off the platform. Uh, just continue to go over here. And let me check something real quick. Okay, I'm back. I just had to check something on Discord. Anyway, just got these are wobbling platforms. Just be careful. Also, this is Tower of Traps, really, but it's done right in my opinion. I actually kind of, I actually quite like this tower. But anyway, once you're here, just kind of hug the wall when you jump down to here, and you'll be good. And then for this jump, uh, just kind of, uh, it, this jump's gonna take a few attempts, but kind of when you jump forward, jump when after you when you're at the peak of your jump, when you're in there, just kind of go to the left very quickly, and you'll eventually get. You could also do it in first. You could also do it in first person, but either way works. Let me, what, what, let me try doing it backwards. Huh, you could also do it backwards like that. Huh, I guess I'll well, found a new strategy. Just kind of do a weird head hitter backwards, and you'll be good. And when you're done, just go on this pusher, and you're up at floor three. And do not, do not, don't think you're, uh, don't think this conveyor will actually um, take you to safety. This is a conveyor, but it doesn't go all the way to that platform. It drops you if you don't, if you, it drops you if you just stay, because there's a little gap here. As you can see, the uh, invisible parts just ends there. So you will fall if you just if you just let it take you so just kind of um, jump at the end and this one you can just let it take you then you can just jump over here got a few head hitters basically for these head hitter jumps kind of delay your jump for that one for uh, the jump from there to there and you'll be good then once you're up here you want to jump down to here and then just keep going along what's this music Ugh. oh it's nuclear throne huh Anyway, now we're at the first outside section, and uh, you can jump on these invisible bricks. Then you got a really small tightrope, so I'd recommend you ghost it, or either you can either ghost it or align yourself, which I'm gonna do. So I can just kind of walk on it. And aligning your, the alignment keys are dot and comma or greater than, less than. So you can use those if you want. And I would heavily recommend it. They're great for wall hopping, and they're just good for tightropes. Anyway, moving on with the outside section, just kind of keep going along. Got a few more head hitters. It's a really bland outside section. Got a few kill bricks. Then just another head hitter jump. So just kind of jump around like that. And just more head hitters. There's a lot of head hitters. And if you have T-Pose for this part, I would recommend you use it because it uh, basically, it makes your hitbox your body. Instead of like, if you walk like this, you're going to take a lot of damage. But if you, t if you use T-Pose, you're not going to take that much. But anyway, just follow where I went because I was explaining T-Pose. So just follow where I met, went and you'll be good. Then just got a few one stud jumps. Then you can either jump to there or down to here, but I, I would recommend down, jumping down to here just because it's that bit safer. Then you can just kind of walk in here. And then you can go up here. 
Then you can just kind of, uh, I would recommend just, like, pressing shift lock, and then it'll, you'll just, like, drop down, and then you can just let this conveyor take you. And now you're at floor four. This is Lordling. Anyway, uh, starting at floor four, just got some simple jumps. Just don't mess them up, and then another weird jump. And then just do these head here from, uh, I would recommend doing it from this side. It just makes it a bit easier. I don't know why, it just does for me. But, uh, you just do it, just do it the head hitters the way, a way you're comfortable with, really. Because there's really not much to commentate on just head hitter after head hitter after head hitter. Anyway, for for this latter part, just kind of, once you're, once you go over here, kind of jump, then immediately press shift. And then for this one, align yourself with the truss above me. Uh, align yourself with this one. Then you can t turn your camera around like this, and then you can do the same thing I told you earlier. And this jumps a bit far, so treat it like a 12 stud. And then you may think, wow, I'm already up to 4 or 5. No, you're not. You have to go do this. Just jump down to there like that, and now you're at this part. These are these are rope platforms, and they will wobble. They will indeed wobble. And you have to do wraps on them, or one stud stickouts, whatever you want to say. So just don't underestimate these jumps at all. And keep in mind the swinging of the platform. And then this one, uh, don't jump in there from here. Jump, jump from around here like this. And it'll make it a lot easier. And you just keep going along. These are a bit long jumps. So just kind of align yourself carefully, and then you'll do, you'll just do fine. This jump's pretty long, so just kind of treat it like a 12 stud. Treat that one like a 12 stud, and then do the same strategy I mentioned over there. But instead of jumping through from here, jump like, kind of go around and then hug the wall like that. That's pretty much how you do the weird head hitter jumps in this tower, for the most part. But yeah, anyway. Moving on, we're almost at 4-5, so just kind of keep going along. Land on this truss, and then like you'll try to climb on this truss like that. I didn't go into the climbing animation, but, like, you should. And you could ladder flick here, but don't. It's a really hard ladder flick, so just kind of do that, and then you can ladder flick. I'm not going to explain ladder flicking. Just look a guide up on just YouTube, and I'll make a guide on advanced uh, obby techniques such as that later. Anyway, this is a conveyor, so just don't take too much damage from the kill bricks, and you'll be good. And these kill bricks do a lot of damage for some reason. Like, they can, they just do a lot of tick damage, so it's kind of... Just don't stay on them very long, really, and uh, just walk up here from there. I can hear Flowey laugh. I don't know why. And I'm pretty sure these ones are conveyors. No, they're not. Okay, I thought... That one's a conveyor. Haha. <laughs> I'll meet you guys back up there. You know, I find it pretty funny that uh, I thought these ones were conveyors when this one actually was. So just kind of jump at the very end and then... That's also a conveyor? I was not aware, aware that was also a conveyor. I'll meet you guys back up there, I guess. Anyway, back up here for like the third time now. Just kind of... Keep in mind that these two uh, red bricks are indeed conveyors. So I'm going to go in like this. And then jump on this kill brick. This kill brick is not a conveyor. Then you can just kind of walk down like this. Are you kidding me? I'll meet you guys back up there, I guess. Okay, I'm back. Sorry I didn't record this since I was just doing a bunch of attempts. Since this, this part took a while. But basically, once I did this, uh, this the walk to here it sucks. So just kind of do it. Uh, just kind of walk forward like that. Like like this, just kind of jump. Once you're there, just kind of walk forward, uh, and then you'll be, then you'll like you're just don't walk too walk forward too much, or else you might overshoot. But you'll be fine. Actually, you might not because that jump is actually kind of hard. But whatever. I'm just rambling. Anyway, once you're here, jump on these uh, half studs or something like that. I don't even know how many studs they are, but then but basically just jump on the spinner, then jump on these uh, little head hitters. Now, once you do those, you are up to uh, four or five outside. And this one is, uh, this one's okay, I guess. It's not hard outside, but basically, kind of jump in this hole and jump at it from the side like that. I just got sharp pain in my foot for no reason. Then just jump down to this hole, and you can just let this conveyor take you. Then you'll get pooped right here. And you can just keep going up like this. Let me turn, let me turn the music back up. Also, one of my friends pointed out that this tower is the difficulty chart up until 4-7. So it's easy, medium, hard, difficult, challenging, intense. And then it's just random colors. So that's pretty epic. Anyway, once you've done that, just kind of jump down to these kill bricks. And just kind of got a few kill brick head hitters. And now, you are on 4-6. This is the last actually hard floor. After that, it's pretty much GG's, like I said earlier, since there's a catch zone. Well, anyway, starting off, go on this ladder. And then once you're about up to these kill bricks right here... Kind of turn around and then do the weird ladder jump thing I was talking about earlier. And then you can just kind of keep going around. And then you want to go on this ladder like this. And then once you're around here, just drop down. And you could skip that enti this entire section by ladder flicking, but I don't want to since it's a bit dangerous. And once you're here, just kind of jump to the side like this. And then just keep going up. 
just new normal head hitters, and then you got this little tightrope, so just kind of align yourself carefully. Like this. And then you can just walk across, and then just, once you're up to here, make sure you actually jump like that. And you'll be good. And now you just got, these are roped platforms, so just be careful, make sure they don't swing too much, and then you gotta go across this tightrope that is also a conveyor, apparently. I did not re realize that was a conveyor. So anyway, uh, don't choke these last few jumps, that jumps a bit far, and then on these pushers, go real slow. So you don't bounce, and then this one goes slow as well, and they can just jump up, and now... Once you're here, it's basically GG, since this is a, this, you're, there's like literally no way you can fall in this part. Well, I mean, there is one way, but this. Anyway, starting off, this is a conveyor, so just don't take too much damage, and once you get to here, uh, there's an interesting skip you can do. You know wall hopping? You can wall hop that and skip that entire part. But if you don't want to wall hop, uh, let me get back up here quickly. Uh, the normal way is kind of go back over here, and then go up here. Ah, well. I'll meet you guys back up there. Anyway, as I was saying, go up here, then just kind of walk around on these kill bricks, go on this little weird ladder thing, and then just kind of go on the ladder. And then once you're here, just kind of go sideways, then you'll drop down, then you want to go up here, do a little head hitter. Then you can just go over to here. Actually, nope, wrong way, sorry. I don't normally go this way, so forgive me. What you want to do is go on the side of these things, jump over to these studs, do a little head hitter. Then he's got one stud jumps. And then you can jump down here, but I recommend just doing the wall hop because it's a lot easier. And if you fall, you can always just get back up, and yeah, you'll be good. You don't need to worry about like, dying of damage. But this part, I would recommend going on the pusher sideways, then you can jump up a lot easier. Then it's got some regular head hitters. Again, this tower has a ton of head hitters for no applicable reason, really. Then you want to go down here. Don't drop down there. That's the literally only the way. That's the only way you can fall back to the previous floors. But you want to let it take you over to this thing, and this is a conveyor, and prepare to take a lot of damage. Just kind of do the ra do the stick outs a bit earlier than normal, so you don't take that much damage. And then, once you get to here, you can just do some normal head hitters. And this part, you can take a ton of damage on this part just by touching the little edge of that. Anyway, once you're here, this will take you up, and now you're at floor 8. And this is a conveyor, so just kind of align yourself in, like, the middle. And then you can jump around like that. <laughs> what am I bouncing... What am I bouncing on? Are these conveyors? Oh, apparently these are conveyors. They weren't conveyors in my uh, in my winning run. I haven't done this tower in a while. So, uh, give me a sec. How do you do these? Oh, I guess you do them like this. Yeah, just do that and just kind of keep going back and forth on them and you'll be good. This is also a conveyor and I just got a lot of spinners. And these kill bricks, these kill bricks do a ton of damage. Just because you can get caught in them really easily. Anyway, just keep going along the spinners like so. And then right here, if once you get right here, you can heal up if you want. But I'm gonna keep going. Anyway, for this p first part, kind of wrap around the trusses like this, and once you're here, align yourself in, like, the middle, then you can climb up, and then push yourself to the side, like this. And then you can go around this ladder. Then, once you're here, you want to wait till the spinner's not above your head, then you can jump over to here. Not do that. I don't, need, I don't need to cut the footage, since it's a little simple, just getting back up here. Let me get back over on the side. Maybe, anyway, point is, once the spinner's not over your head, then you can jump, then just go on the spinner. And now you're on the final part. Just don't. This is all. Both of these platforms are conveyors, but they're mo really mo slow, slow moving conveyors. Sorry, I'm stammering, but yeah. But yeah, they're really slow moving conveyors. And then he's got one stud jumps. These aren't conveyors. These are just one studs. And he's got a few head hitters. And then once you're right here, what's really important about this part is that once you're here, jump on top of this platform. Then you will fall through the platform, then go on this thing. Now do this thing sideways from this angle. So just kind of push on it real slow, like this. And then once you're here, you can go backwards, and then just jump up like that. And then you can jump over to these, and these are invisible. What? What am I on? I don't even know what I stepped on there. That's pretty convenient, I guess. But anyway, I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, hopefully not acting a fool up in here, up in here this time. Uh, kind of jump down to here, then just keep going on the invisible studs. Then you'll eventually get to this part, and then you can go on the kitty. It's kitty. I don't know why they made the particles kitty, but they are. And then this, there's a big conveyor here, so just kind of stand still. And you'll be good. And you just get taken over to the other kitties. I still understand what this is a reference to. I know it's kitty slash Tune, but like still. Then just don't take too much damage on this kill brick part. Now, you could do this really scary outside section, or you could just go up here. Do you feel kill bricks? Whoops. And now, what the game wants you to do is jump down there, then do the entire maze. But what you can do... Just go over here, then corner clip in like this. There is no reason not to do this. 
J just do a corner clip. It's so much easier. You skip the entire kill brick maze and you skip all the outside section. Wait, this tight rope's a bit thin, so it's gonna keep your cursor on it like this. Whoop. Give me a sec. Whoa. Let me get back up there quickly. But anyway, just keep your cursor on it, and when you're about when you're about here, you can jump onto the studs, and then you can just keep going back and forth on these studs. Whoop. Sorry if it's a bit laggy. This server is incredibly laggy. And the fact that I'm recording really isn't helping the situation. Don't go out there. That's just the end of the outside section. You want to go on these invisible studs, and then you can go up to uh, floor 10. <laughs> it's weird, number one. Wow. By the way, starting off, you want to jump to this stud. This jump is pretty far, so be careful. And then you want to jump on top of this book clip. Now, if you and now if you drop back down accidentally, uh, you could just do a book clip, but I'm not going to drop down. So, yeah, just go on top of it, and it'll make it a lot easier. Then it's got some simple wraps, and these big blue, this big blue thing, it's a conveyor. And what you want to do is land in, like, the middle of the truss, like that, because this truss uh, slowly shrinks down. And for this one, press shift when you're about here, and then go forward like this, and then do these really bad conveyor jumps. And this, this is a really thin stud. As you can see, most of the brick is outside, and I'm really glad I did this part first try, because this part can take a long time if you're not careful. Well, not if you're not careful, it's just it just takes a while in general. Anyway, moving on. Just got some simple one stud jumps. Just keep going along. Then on these thin studs, kind of go around them like this. And you have to wrap around to this half stud. So it's kind of wrap around like that. And then don't aim for that. Aim for this stud. So oh my lord. I'll meet you guys back up there, I guess. Okay, I'm back up here. Hopefully actually doing the jump this time. Just kind of do a quick wrap around. And once you're here... You've beaten it. Just don't mess up this pusher jump. Just don't. Just kind of, once you're about here, you can jump down to the wind pad. And it's going to deny you. And you're going to be real scared. But joke's on you, the wind pad's actually down there. It's not wind pad lag, but it's just an invisible wind pad. But anyway, once you've done that, you've beaten... There's a verified builder in here, I just realized. Anyway, you've beaten Tower of Despair. Congratulations. You beat the hardest tower in Ring 3. That's not... Uh, confusion, so, yeah. Also, uh, I'm gonna probably do a Ring 8 stream, because Ring 8 is going to come out in the next, like, three days, pretty much, and I have access, since I have 71 towers now, so that's pretty epic. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up today's video, so, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys with another video soon. See ya!